So that brings us to a few of the other buttons on this uh, Ruben Bar menu. Um, we looked at the sync, and we know that it's used to synchronize um, all cache dyno view references uh, in all models in that file. The other one we have is the reload button. Now, our first preference is always to use sync because it's a, it's a quicker method of, of regenerating your drawings. The reload option um, not only not only resynchronizes your cache, but also rereads, reloads all references. So it's a slightly slower operation because it's doing um, slightly more things. However, sometimes we do need to use this option, and we'll run through where when they are. Often we'll need to also synchronize our cache levels. So if someone is a way in your model and designing a way and adding new elements, which in turn are creating new levels. Those levels need to appear in your drawing models in order to host the elements. So therefore, we can use the sync cached levels button if that needs to occur. So the levels are in sync in your drawing model with what is contained inside uh, your uh, composition model or the models that reference that. And finally, there's a button in the lower right hand corner. Again, that can be used to open up the uh, reference presentation dialog box or the, the view attributes for the reference file, which allows you to control various presentation aspects of your drawings. Now, this doesn't necessarily need to be set um, back in the model where the view is contained. It can be done. Those alterations can be made within the drawing models themselves. Any changes can either be separate to the save view or be pushed back to the save view. And we'll have a look at that. So let's have a look at, uh, at what happens with levels when we, um, when we, when we add uh, some elements. So what we'll do, we'll add a couple of elements. We'll go into our concrete column tool. And what we'll, what we'll do here is we will add, um, some spread footing foundations. So we'll just adjust a couple of the settings here. We'll make them 300 mil and high. And the base offset is minus 300. So we'll place um, just two at the end of the, at the end of the column here. And we'll look at our our level display. So what that's done, it's its level is S foundation wall, it's placed F S foundation wall in the view. However, the part and family that this object is using has that S foundation wall set as its definition, so its modeling element will be on that level. And its section and forward view is also on the same level. However, you can see here it's using a section unifier. It's using another part to unify objects that are butted up together to show one entire object. And that unifier part is called unifier foundations and it uses a different level called S foundation. So let's have a look at what happens when we evoke our plan. The S foundation level just got added to the active level list because it's re symbolized the foundation to be on S foundation in the forward view. So if we were to turn S foundation off, you can see it disappears and turns back on. We can clear our clip volume. and go back to the illustration design display style. And what we could do is something a little bit interesting here. We have that part and family set there. We could go to our modeling tools. We can draw ourselves a slab. Now where we may draw that, let's draw that right through the middle of the cut. 
and just shift that down slightly so the cut is going right through the middle of the block. And what we'll do is if we just rotate around, we can use the modify solid tool, change it to edge, and just stretch that edge out slightly so we can see a cut through there, but we can also see what's going on in the forward view. And just to make this a little bit different, in our parts and families dialog box, for the forward view, let's change the level the foundations are on to S Foundation CIS. And we'll commit those changes to the, the parts and families. And let's evoke the view again. So you can see now we have that protruding piece of line work. If we just sort our views again and go down to our structural use levels, that forward piece is now on that level and governed by the level we set it to. So this is the way we can mix and match levels or mix them up to to have a real variation on what the elements on the objects can be, depending if they're modelled, if they're in a cut view, or if they're in a forward view. So what that means is if we want to use these in our drawing model from this reference file, sometimes these levels, the use levels, need to be synchronised. So let's go into the drawing model and see if we need to synchronize. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes we do need to synchronize those. So what we have here is another instance of Open Buildings Open. And it has our plan view reference to the drawing model here. So let's go to our references and have a, have a look at what it says. We get the pencil. It says it's been changed. Okay. So let's give this a sync. Well, first of all, Let's have a look at our levels. And we'll look at the levels of the reference files. So you can see there we have minimal levels. We don't even have the foundation existing yet. So let's give it a sync and see what we get. Okay, in this case, the sync uh, it hasn't found a change. So sometimes we have to force this a little. So let's give this a, a reload. Okay, so there's our foundations here that we placed in play. And you see in the drawing model, the only level that we're seeing is S foundation. We also have um, this new block we placed, and you can see we have the S foundation wall, plus we also have uh, that additional level there. So let's do a sort and click on, and click on our um, reference file. So the level we had that... Um, part set to is not appearing in our list. So let's go down to our let's go down to foundations and now to unify our foundation. So what we need to do, go to the drawing symbology, we will find that new level is appearing in our parts and families. Now it hasn't appeared in our level list as yet. So what we can do is try the sync cache levels. And if we reopen our level display box, there is the foundation case. And if I turn that off and do a sync, you'll see that um, level is both off for the little piece we put out here, which is in the forward view beyond the cut, and the foundations we see here, turning that back on and applying a sync will we'll bring those elements back. So just a little note sometimes that you you do need to be aware that one element can have more than one level depending on whether you set it at the model level 
what you see in the cut or what you see in the forward view. And those levels often need to be synced between uh, the model, uh, the parts and families and, and the, the level display. So to recap, when new elements are added to the model that use a level in the parts and families that, that the current model has not used before and it does not exist in the drawing model as the reference of sync cache levels will be required to copy the level to the to the drawing model so you can uh, turn the levels on and off. When a level is turned off and turned back on, um, the sync is required to to update that view. So also be aware that uh, something new that began in Open Buildings VNI is a much more comprehensive um, flyout, uh, which also reveals the level as well as a, a load of other information, including the the rule used to re-symbolize the beams here as an example. And another thing to point out as well, because we can have differing levels uh, for the forward and reflected and the cut and the model, um, by hovering over an element and holding down right click will we'll allow you to turn the level off, but it will also allow you to in addition to that, choose whether it be the level in the forward or reflected view, in the cut view, or in the model itself. So let's take a look at that. So here we have um, an element with uh, different different levels. And in fact, what we'll do is open up our level display dialog box to, and, and click on the reference to indicate this. So we can hover down over this particular element and go to our level off area you can see we have a modeled element which we know was the S foundation wall but we also have the forward and reflected view level as well so we know that to be the s foundation caas so if we were to turn that level the forward and reflected level off and then hit the sync we can see that that forward component has disappeared and the level is turned off in the level display. So probably an easier way to turn level on and off is go directly to the element, target the element itself rather than scrolling through the, the list there. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.